Before we take you to Koh Yao Noi, we first want to explain something. Whether we are leaving Belgium or entering Thailand, people always wonder why we have so many suitcases with us. Well, in this video, we'll try to explain our suitcase mystery. It's actually all about the children in Thailand. It started in 2009 when we came to Thailand for the very first time. We immediately fell in love with this beautiful country and its lovely people. But we learned that many families were struggling and some children had to live in orphanages. So we decided we had to do something, give something back to the country we love to travel to. We started collecting all kinds of things in our home country, Belgium. Things as clothes, toys, books, pencils and so much more. From then on, every year we traveled to Thailand, we stuffed all of our suitcases to take as much as we could with us. Once arrived in Thailand, we then asked people where people could benefit the most from our donations. Then we bring everything to small schools, orphanages or families who need it. We also learned that although all schools get milk from the government, not all schools get enough milk for every child. So once we're in Thailand, we also go to the shop and buy extra milk. We also buy some sweets, some candy and sometimes extra toys to play with. In Akonsi Tamarat, we visited the home for the destitute and gave them things like nappies, cooking oil and pillows, because some people had to sleep on the floor and had a shoe for a pillow. We also went shopping for the Bansi Tamarat home for boys. They gave us a list of things they needed, but they forgot our Thai reading is unfortunately not existing. But in the store, people were happy to help and translated it for us. Here we bought milk, shampoo, rice and two trucks to play with. In Kanong we donated a lot of our stuff to Charlie's children's charities. As you can see on the bed, I was so happy and thankful to all people who donated in Belgium, so we could give all these goodies to the children in Thailand.
In Bang Sapan, we filled our fluorescent goodie bags with toothpaste, toothbrush, candy, milk and a stuffed animal and went to a small, small school in the area. They had only one classroom. This year in Phuket, we had a little help from Five Star Marine. This private boat company founded the organization Living Waters Phuket and provided thousands and thousands of life bags to people who needed it during the hard Covid period. They knew exactly where they could use our stuff. The school we visited had just received a donation of PCR tests, badly needed in order to get the school reopened back in February. After they got tested, the children could grab a toy out of our suitcase for comfort. The clothes would be used in the school or handed out to the mothers who needed them. It's okay. 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 because uh, we working with the pregnant woman also. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, and then we can uh, wash, and then we can be plan, you know, and smaller then clothes. For yes, them. and then oh. we can uh, give it to them. You know, okay. To the hospital and to the some organization with the baby. We know this is all just a pee in the ocean. And if you think, after watching this video, that what we do is useless, then forget you even watch this video. But if you like it and you want to support us, you can do this by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. This would mean a lot to us. If you want to do more, you can always click on the link in the description below and buy us a coffee. We'll turn the coffee into milk and make sure the children in Thailand get it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take care.
and see you in the next one.